for at least a decade, we've been testing a new immunotherapy for childhood leukemia. It's called blenitumumab, and it's a targeted therapy that is complex to give. It takes 28 days. It's a continuous infusion, which means the kid has to be attached to a pump and an IV tubing line. We have to make it portable in some way. Our equipment that we had was really designed for adults. It was a single strap bag. It wasn't adjustable to fit children of smaller sizes, and so we went on this journey to develop a new bag to carry the Blenitua map so that the kids can actually do kid kind of things. So the backpack is definitely better than being impatient. You don't have to be stuck in the hospital. Being impatient sucks. The bag gives me freedom. We worked with an industrial designer to incorporate some of the feedback families who had used the original bag had given us. This one has two straps which balances the weight, whereas the other one had only one strap. So I found when I'd go on like walks or had to like stand up and go to the kitchen or whatever, like the weight was on like one shoulder and it yeah. really hurt. Keeping all the important elements in terms of being able to keep the pump and the medication safe. It didn't have as many pockets in different uh, ways that you could run the tube through and have a little bit of extra storage. But also being able to make it a little bit more user friendly and more amenable to life at home to be able to manage this for 28 days. It also doesn't look very fun. They said the bag looked like a medical bag. So we really try to reduce that medical appearance. It kind of just looks like a backpack, yeah. right? So it doesn't look like, like I'm wearing a Blenna backpack. No one would really know. So we had a number of different patterns we could choose from. We've got some hats, some llamas. The llamas are really fun. First of all, which backpack did you choose? I chose the turquoise one with llamas. We'd go out to like the distillery to eat for dinner or like down to the harbor front. The Santa Claus parade, the subway. The new bags are longer, so the medication bag at its uh, fullest is able to fit in as it should. You can see here the pump sits in here securely, but it gives them a good visual window to make sure that the pump is infusing. We have spots where we can feed the tubing through. You can see your feed here to your medication cassette. And then the other side of the cassette is the patient side of the tubing that will come through here. You can coil it. And there's lots of little tags on the side with Velcro to help coil it up. We also provided some additional space in here to be able to put some of the other things that they need in the bag. Um, you can put your charging cable, helmet patches, slip bomb, stickers. I think I found candy wrappers in there once. Lay <laughs> I think it offers them a break from chemotherapy that's really toxic and has so many side effects and you can't be with your friends and you can't go to the park. It just offers a little bit more freedom to live life fully and, and not to be always at the hospital. I want to get to play the piano, I want to get to see my siblings, I want to get really to do anything that I like doing. I'm really, really hopeful that this is a bag that can be available to any kid getting blenitumumab in Canada, in the United States across the world. You could think about it for kids who are at home on IV antibiotics. Maybe you're at home on TPN. I mean, I think we haven't thought about all the possibilities. So I really hope we find a partner who will help us get the bag out to everybody who, who would benefit from it. I am, it's a pretty cool project. I've never done anything like this. This is a lot to ask of a family to go home with an infusion for 28 days. Um, and if it can make things a little bit easier for them, it's been a great opportunity to be able to do that.